All right, we're live. Yay! Yay! Hello, Seminole State family. This is Nicole with the library. Thank you for joining us today. And today we are going to find out who is Elena Solto. And of course, joining us today over here is Elena Solto. Yay! <laughs> All right. So Elena is one of our fabulous, fabulous librarians on our team of librarians at Seminole State. And we've been meeting uh, with a few librarians so that students, faculty, and staff can get familiar with who are the people behind the services. And um, Elena, if we can start out, if you mm -hmm. want to introduce yourself, include kind of some professional highlights that will give insight to your path that um, led to Seminole State. Sure. So once again, I'm Elena Salto, and I work out of the Altamont campus. So those of you who, um, who, who, who are, you know, have take classes, teach classes at Altamont, you probably have seen me and I've probably talked your ear off. Um, but my background, um, I am originally, well, I'm originally from Jersey, but I grew up in South Florida over in Cocoa, Florida. I, um, my first degree was from um, Brevard Community College, OBCC now Florida, Eastern Florida State. Um, I have a, um, a bachelor's from UCF in legal studies. I have a bachelor's from FAU in computer science. I have my master's from Florida State in, in library science. I'm working on my um, doctorate um, in education from Nova Southeastern. My husband always makes a joke that um, I'm trying to hit every university and give everybody money. <laughs> um, so I, you know, I did lots of things through my life, throughout my life. Um, I was a server. I worked, I was an in-court clerk. I um, was a software test engineer. I, you know, but honestly, it wasn't until I started doing some research while I was, uh, in the software industry um, and I would have to do research that I realized I love doing research and that's what kind of drew me into um, the library and becoming an academic librarian um, and so I started off at Nova Southeastern and I started off at the at the information desk at the circulation I checked out books and I worked my way up until I was um, I was a distance educate. I was a distance instructional librarian. I um, was the assistant director of reference, and then I came here to Seminole State, where I started off as a manager at Altamont, and now I'm an instructional librarian, and love every minute of it. Awesome, and it is definitely apparent because um, students, faculty, and staff alike from Altamont just sing your praises. Um, so you're, like you said, you're well known. Um, especially in particular at Altamont. Now, um, so obviously, Elena, you have done so many different things. And I, I knew that you had a very diverse background, but I didn't realize all of those, that much diversity. Yeah, My, I always joke that I can't keep a job. <laughs> um, and it reminds me, uh, I was saying, uh, when we interviewed Kelly and interviewed Claire, we uh, talked about, you know, our, uh, the unique characteristics that each librarian brings we kind of each have our superpower and that diverse background it makes sense because I always feel like Elena when you're like to me the glue you're like that balanced you like have all these different talents and uh, you have the wisdom you're funny you're fair you're experienced you're and then anytime I feel like, what do I do? Like, what's the right thing to do? I honestly, I've emailed you or called you uh -huh. or talked to you. And especially when we're working on team things, um, I feel like we all kind of are the extremes. Like there's so many different extremes on the team. Um, yeah. And then you are the person I feel that is the balance and that just like sticks and glues everything together. So I will tell you, I greatly appreciate that. It's very comforting. Oh, thank you. You're my work mom. I told you about that before. <laughs> um, so what is your favorite service to provide at Seminole State? Obviously you do so many different things at Seminole State. What's your favorite? My favorite is working one-on-one -on -one with faculty and students. It's that connection with someone. It's helping them through, especially students, they've been struggling, they've been, you know, whacking their head against the table or the, you know, the, 
the, the keyboard and they're frustrated and then you know somehow they they work they make their way to me and i'm able to you know it's it's this isn't my research so i can stand very um you know kind of away from it and and kind of guide them when i'm on my own research i'm not this calm but being able to you know help them and then you know i've i've been hugged by students i can't be hugged now but i you know they are so happy when they finally find and you've showed them how to find the information they needed that's what you know keeps me coming in every day it's that you know what can you how can i help the students today and i'm seeing a pattern here because claire and kelly pretty much more or less said the same thing so obviously your librarians at seminole state enjoy working with you <laughs> so um so you you kind of mentioned uh, that when you were um doing research in your software during your software mm -hmm. degree that's when you kind of realized that you like doing research yeah and it was um i was working in the software industry and i had to do some research for my boss and um realized oh that's i've had the most fun there than i've had you know doing all the other stuff and so when you realize that you like doing research and you're like did you know immediately, oh, I could be a librarian or did you know another librarian or were you thinking of the librarians you worked with when you were doing all of your different multitude of school programs? <laughs> I, you know, I've always been, I'm sure all the other ones told you to, um, all of us, were, you know, were always a lot, or at least I was a library fan. I have been going into the library since I was a child. It was kind of a safe space especially for a child, you know, early 70s, parents divorcing, it was a safe space. And so I've always loved the library. I just, you know, loved the books. And so it was kind of an aha moment. It was, you know, I could, I could become a librarian. I, you know, I need a little bit more, um, a little more education, but I think I would really like it. And, and that's why I, um, when I told my husband that I was going to switch over from, you know, the software industry into making, um, you know, like, I think I started like eight bucks an hour at my library. He was like, okay. <laughs> um, but it, I, I had never looked back since never looked back, love every minute of it. Okay. Um, Elena, obviously, uh, you work with canvas, you're embedded in some courses. So mm -hmm. you're right there with the students in their course, if they need librarian help. And now, pretty much almost everyone at Seminole State should be familiar with Canvas. Everyone uses it for online classes or hybrid classes. And the dashboard on Canvas, um, occasionally there's a message that goes, that shows on everybody's dashboard, right? It's mm -hmm. very rare. If you could put something on that dashboard for the whole college to see, what would you put there? I would put, you know, are you feeling, you know, are you feeling alone? Do you feel like, you know, no one, no one's hearing you? Contact the library. We are 24 seven. We have 24 seven chat, you know, come and actually converse with someone live and we will help you do whatever you need to do. Or do you just need to talk to someone, you know, come talk with us. Um, Cause you could see I am missing talking to people. <laughs> Yeah, and we were just talking about that uh, before we got on live. I was like, honestly, I'm definitely a bona fide introvert. I know this for sure because I'm very comfortable in uh, the solitude. And Elena is kind of on the flip side, um, very extroverted and and missing that contact. So, and and that reminds me is that you know students. I'm sure you would uh, agree with this. You it's, it's, holler this from the rooftops. If students don't even know what question to ask or if they think their question's too small or like it's like not good enough for chat or a reference appointment, you'd probably tell them, no, like come on in on chat, on the appointment and start talking to us because maybe you realize there's a question you need to ask you don't even know yet. Yeah, so. Exactly. You know, it's, you know, come see us, come talk with us because you you might have a need you just don't quite know what that is and you don't know you can't quite verbalize it or you know type it out um but through our conversations through um what we call a reference interview where we just ask you some questions and kind of poke around 
the issue a little bit until we kind of understand what you're looking for. And then, um, you know, we're able to then point you to, you know, what you need and show you how to use it. Um, but there's no, you know, there's no stupid questions. There's no small questions. Every little, uh, you know, we love every little interaction. So please don't ever hesitate to come see us or come talk with us because we're thrilled to be able to talk with, with students, staff, faculty, everybody. Yep. Now, what's your chat schedule right now? Like generally, when are you on chat at this time? I am, um, I'm often, I guess because I didn't block myself off, um, lunchtime, 12 to 2. I just finished um, my chat um, just a couple of, just when we were um, coming on to um, onto Facebook Live. Um, I do a lot of um, 12 to 2s. Okay, so most days of the week? Yeah, yeah, okay. Monday through Thursday. Um, but you can always, if you want, um, you can make an appointment with me and you could see where I have openings and you can just, you know, kind of click on that appointment and, um, it, it sets, it pops it into my calendar. You get a, an email and we could do this. We can zoom and talk. Well, Elena, what I'm going to do is when this video posts to the, to the timeline on Facebook, I'm mm -hmm. going to post a direct link to your research appointments a link to chat with your general schedule that you have right now. Uh, I can put your phone number on there, your work phone number. You can put my desk that... phone number because I have it forwarded to, to my house phone. So okay. yes, please. We'll do that. And then also your email. So if anyone wants to get in touch directly with you, they kind of have that straight line right to you. Yeah. And if you, if you don't catch me on chat, um, I am on email a lot. I work a lot with the nursing students and they have, you know, they have a very unique schedule. Um, and so sometimes it's the weekends or the nights that they're emailing me. And so I'm always kind of just monitoring and I look at emails and think, okay, that one can wait until tomorrow, but this one needs my attention right now. And I am happy to not, some of my colleagues are like, don't, don't send students my way at that point, but I'm thrilled to talk to, you know, I work with, with a unique group and I am very flexible. Um, I have no small kids at home. I am, you know, I am, you know, you guys are kind of taking up the space where my, where, where my small kids would be. <laughs> All right. Well, Elena, um, thank you for joining us on Facebook live today. Thank you for asking me. Oh yes, I had to have you on. And um, once again, we're going to post all of Elena's contact information, uh, contact her, get on chat. Like Elena said, they are waiting, ready, eager to help students, um, staff and faculty with academic work and anything else that might come up. Um, yes, and if they need help, this, I mean, if they wanna learn more about the library, I am teaching an LIS 2004 class, term B this fall, sign up for me and um, I can torture you for a half a semester. Okay, so they yes. when they go to the course catalog online, they would see your name attached to that course if they're mm -hmm. signing up for, I'm sorry, it's LIS. 2004. 2004, is that that two credit hour class course? It's one credit. It's one, one credit. credit. So it's not, okay. you know, it's not terribly taxing, but you know, you, you learn some interesting skills and um, you'll have more interaction with me and can ask me, you know, any question under the book under the okay. side and then fill in any gaps with like uh our uh court uh, credit hour requirements exactly exactly okay. and if you're going on to you know bachelor's master's doctorate it's always good to have a great um, research foundation nice okay thank you again elena thank, thank you, you to Nicole. our <laughs> you're welcome and thank you to our Seminole state family for joining us we will see you on the next one and until then Bye and be well. Bye. Bye. Bye.